like I've it. I've been acting oh, a lot like one lately. about the weather. <laughs> it's cold. Bundle up. Wake up. Hope everyone slept well. Mm. JC. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on this cool Friday morning. This is Athens in the AM. As Gloria's about to tell you, the weather's going to be kind of picture perfect throughout the weekend. Y'all may notice yesterday we had a lot of pancakes in here. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Clay, Frank, and Tom for enjoying most of them. <laughs> Thank you, John Jacker, for cooking them up there. Yes, there's Tom, yeah. Thank yeah, you, Tom. Good. Yeah, they were good. good. Yeah, I bet they were. I wish I'd have gotten one. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of the way it goes. You a lot of stuff going one. on this weekend. We'll keep you posted. What? You did get one. Yeah, I did get one. But I did get about 10 pieces of bacon. Hey, speaking of food, let me Four give a shout out to Zeke. Was it Pizza Inn yesterday, Frank? Yeah. Tried me some of them fried tamales too, man. They was good. 423, 2500. Y'all forget, call Zeke now. There's them fried tamales. That's the two I got left. Man, you have to ask for them special. Man, that pizza's good up, up there. Hey, don't forget, now it's time to order your uh, ham or turkey for Thanksgiving. You can pick them up the Wednesday right before he'll be there all day. So y'all give my buddy Zeke a shout out up that way. What else is coming up today? I have no clue. All I know is Friday. Next week's a short week. Hey, by the way, Next Wednesday will be our last day of the week, Thanksgiving on Thursday this year. Uh, <laughs> we'll be feeding everybody. So Thanksgiving breakfast by Zeke up at uh, Pizza Inn. He'll be catered. We're going to have French toast, pork loin, whatever else we can get. Frank, just so you can build your appetite up before Wednesday. Might even have some pancakes. Well, French toast will suffice for that. So anyway, all of y'all come on by. We're going to feed a couple hundred. Actually, 30 or 40 probably drop by. We'll have all the usual regulars up here on that day, so we'll let you know how that goes. We'll be back Tuesday and Wednesday, take a couple of days off. Then we'll get ready for the Athens Christmas Parade, so y'all know y'all all be sponsoring it out there. It comes up on December 6th. That's on a Thursday night. We'll probably be set up over at Martin and Kobe because they always got a tent and hot chocolate. And, and it's easy to get out of there. No train stops us. So we'll get all that going on. So we'll let you know about that, the annual parade. Hey, and in January, believe it or not, we start our 10th year in Athens, Alabama on ZTV 11. Of course, uh -huh. we started out in the Cracker Box next door. Uh, everybody had to squeeze up against the wall. I remember Dr. Coleman and him just come in. They'd be up against the wall waiting to be interviewed next. <laughs> it all worked out. So we're still here right now, 10 years later. All right, let's get it cranking on this cold Friday morning. Here's Glory to you. It's going to warm up some, ain't it? It is going to warm up, and you're going to see some sunshine, too. So hopefully that'll make everyone happy. 34 degrees out there right now. Uh, just enjoy these cold weather mornings, I guess. Pretty much been the same every day here lately. High temperatures today around 61 with your low of 32 tonight. And, of course, sunshine. Same thing for tomorrow. And, of course, the weekend looking lovely. No rain to even worry about. It's just uh, temperatures sticking in the low 60s and, of course, 30s and 40s. Yeah, good day for Santa Claus to ride tomorrow downtown, right there in front yes. of your buddy Bill Matthews' office, Tom. Yeah, it's at uh, right Athens uh, Learning Center. Well, University yeah, thing, yeah. You, you, uh, yeah. At the state, yeah. Can't remember what it was. The learning center. Hey, Tom, I do have something for y'all to eat this morning. Uh huh. <laughs> Got you some uh -huh. cupcakes in there. Some uh, what do you call them other things? Snowballs. Snowballs. Twinkies could be closing today. Hostess yeah. expected to make decision. Here's the deal on that. That's They're hard gonna, to believe. That's union, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Eighteen thousand employees could lose their job today. Mm. Hostess brand says it likely will not make an announcement until this morning or later today to liquidate its business after the company set a deadline yesterday for striking employees to return to work. The maker of Twinkies, Ding Dongs, and Wonder Bread had <laughs> warned employees that it could file them in ho hos. Oh, don't uh, leave out the They make them ho hos. <laughs> Uh, they filed, would file a motion U.S. bankruptcy court to unwind its business and sell off assets if plant operations do not return to normal 5 p.m. Tuesday. As of this morning, they have not returned. It would result in the loss of 18,000 jobs. Mm. The company founded in 1930 is fighting uh, battles beyond labor costs. Uh, competition, uh, hostess said it would file a motion to liquidate they if needed. So. No more ho hos, ding dongs, or snowballs. <laughs> Man, no won't be able to fry anymore. Huh? Won't be able to fry anymore. So Eighteen thousand. I'm assuming they're union. No, yeah. Is that what the so. problem is? Yeah. I think so. They, they said within hours they'll know what they're going to do. Eighteen thousand employees. That's going to hurt. Yeah. A lot of employees. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Tony next door at Jiffy for donating those uh, cupcakes this morning. And uh, well, he didn't have no ho hos. Uh, I saw a few out well, there. <laughs> Stop. Hey, don't forget, 
Road project starting Monday. The city of Athens will be directing paving operations the week of the 19th. Uh, paving be done on uh, Hine and Washington Streets and 4th Street over Interstate 65. That's right there where we all live, Tom. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to be a little careful pulling out of the neighborhood there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While I'm on something else, before I get to talking about football, USA Today, I don't I've never taken an energy drink except one time, and I'll come clean on it, down at Papa Rocco's. <laughs> now, I didn't do it to get more energy. I had a little alcohol mixed with it, but that's the only time in my entire life I've ever done an energy drink shot. I've never. How'd that go? Well, it went pretty good, what I remember of it. Uh, <laughs> Food and Drug Administration said Thursday, if you ever walk into a convenience store like Jiffy, one. that's all you see on the counter no. is energy drinks. Everywhere. Five 13 hours. reported deaths and 33 hospitalization linked to five-hour energy, the highly caffeinated shots that are often sold in convenience stores. They come with a higher risk of health problems for most people. The caffeine concentration is a lot higher because the volume of liquid is slower. And it goes on to say here, five-hour energy, Tom, has 212 milligrams of caffeine. Hmm. An eight-ounce cup of coffee has about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Really? Wow. And that's a little bitty bottle. Yeah, and they're selling a friggin' ton of millions a day or so because they say it's safe for you and it's not calorie, doesn't have calories in it. Remember when that first com came out? Well, all, everything new that comes out, you're always like in a couple of years, let's see, all those lawsuits, if you took this and have that, call me. <laughs> so, uh, I've those never done an energy shot, but they must be good for you because they certainly they do, a lot. do a lot of them. They're not good for you. Well, they give you energy. Well, then I get that way around two or three o'clock afternoon. I just get ready to go to bed because I'm going to bed by seven. Take it it early. Might, might be like everything else, moderation. But I want <laughs> how many people out there watching this? How many of y'all do more? What are those things cost, Abby? Monsters. Three dollars a shot. Can. Well, for a monster, so. Oh, a monster. Well, that thing twenty ounces. <laughs> Our show what? <laughs> You're not right. They're the same. Okay. But anyway, most people, I wonder how many of y'all out there do several of those a day. Too many. Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all know I told y'all the other day that people want to succeed from the <laughs> union. You heard about this in Alabama. Forty states now. Well, get this. This is by John Archibald out of the Huntsville Times this morning. Half of the people out in Alabama that want to succeed ain't from Alabama at all. Do you know that, Tom? Alabama's been looking at this succession thing all wrong. It's not that Alabama's so sick of debt, federal mailing and taxes, they want to throw off the yoke of government. It's the rest of America. It says here, see you later, Alabama. Don't let the door hit your bill overall wearing backside on the way out of the union. Don't call <laughs> us, we'll call you like a foreign country, bubble <laughs> The guy who proposed the petition on the White House is from Mobile. But most of those who thought it was a great idea, those eager for a collapse of the USA and claim to love those, See, Alabama's a third world country anyway. Some 26,000 people have signed Alabama's petition as of Wednesday morning. Of those, 21,000, including the state signer, are from here. 45% are from outside the state of Alabama, yet they want Alabama to succeed from the union. So the fact that 90 <laughs> of the first 100 signees were not from Alabama does not sit well. Hmm. 90 of the first 100 ain't even from here. Well, then how can they... The 88% of the first 1,000 were not from Alabama. Hmm. More people well. from Texas, Georgia, and Florida have signed this. Huh. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of Alabama because of a great football team. <laughs> that appears not to be yeah. as great as we thought it was, you know. Well, now, for your you vote to count, you have to put in your email address and yeah. uh, your zip Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, couple. Let me do a little sports right quick. Auburn is uh, president. Is that Go Grog prepared for back what? <laughs> Googe. Googe. Backlash if he keeps Jacob or Chiswick. They're saying the stands for the first time in many years. Not mm -hmm. one single game sold out this year at Auburn Stadium. And speaking of that, it says also in the paper this hmm. morning. This, if uh, Western Carolina is tomorrow, and right now there are several hundred tickets left. Kickoff is at 11:20 a.m. on Fox. It says here that Saban was trying to get people to buy their remaining tickets. This will be the first non-sellout in his six okay. years at Alabama. Really? Mm -hmm. If those tickets aren't bought, and Zach was up here yesterday pleading for people to. He's a good little Saban. All I know is I'm a Southern Cal fan. Right. If Southern Cal wins out, we're in, providing we can beat Western Carolina, Auburn, and Georgia. 
So okay. if Southern Cal There's does the what they're supposed to, mm -hmm. you know, we could be in, Tom. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to root for Southern Cal? Yep. Yes. If, okay. if, Man, I just want to happen. make sure I didn't do anything yeah. wrong on Southern Because I'm for Texas, too. Texas uh. beats K-State. Gosh, you know, we don't get in, we don't get in. That's just the way it is. But let me update you all some sports. West Force is at oh, Wake Force is at Notre Dame tomorrow at 2.30 on uh, NBC. Mississippi, Ole Miss is at LSU. That's the CBS game at 2.30. Uh, other ranked teams. Georgia Southern is 8-2 and two at number four, Georgia. You know, they all beat us last year. Mm -hmm. Scored 21 points against us. Also, tomorrow, Stanford is at Oregon. That's about a 7 o'clock game tomorrow night on ABC. Kansas State is at Baylor. That is also tomorrow night on ESPN at 7. So if Baylor can come through, which mm -hmm. there ain't a snowball chance of that happening. <laughs> but uh, Oregon, uh, Stanford's defense has 42 sacks and, le and leads the nation with 49 yards rushing a game. Hmm, let's see how that goes tomorrow. But anyway, Florida State, you're not going to like this. What? If you're going to get in trouble calling the bowl championship series, quote, retarded because you're unhappy with your place in it, as Jimbo Fisher did, what can't, you know, have any trouble? So I Jimbo hate that Fisher, word. I hate that word. I hate that he word. He was supposed to, they're supposed to win the, win the whole thing this year. Mm -hmm. And now because he's ranked, where is he ranked? Like number 10 or something? Mm -hmm. He ain't happy. Even yeah. though he's only got one loss. He got to play Florida Who at the end of the year. Who wrote that? Huh? Who wrote that? All right, I got a lot of those things to talk about coming up later <laughs> on this morning. Me, Brad, you're in trouble. But let me do a Thanksgiving, dear Abby, right now. <clears throat> okay. All right, Thanksgiving's on Thursday this year. It's next week. Now everybody's not as friendly with their family as Frank is. Uh, <laughs> how many of y'all in your family, Frank, have problems during Thanksgiving with relatives? Mm. Oh, everybody can't wait uh, to see everyone. Yeah. Well, here's what me do. This is this, this is what it's come to basically. My grandpa remarried when I was a child. He and Grandma Ellen he had five children. She's a wonderful woman, but when them holidays roll around, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas, my grandparents always host at their home. They spend all day fixing up the house, preparing the food. When it's time to eat, Grandma Ellen's children think they should be first in line. <laughs> if someone else tries some of my own grandfather's side of the family, have small children, they grumble and complain. And yet, to make matters worse for Jamie, when the dinner is over, it's always my mom, one of my two aunts and uh, people and their relatives that wind up cleaning everything. The other side of the family just watch TV <laughs> or leave it and go somewhere else. It'd be nice once in a while if they arrived to help us, Frank. This Thanksgiving they arrive, they should cheerfully inform everybody. The children will be oh, seated first. Frank. Now, when we used to get together with my family every year at Thanksgiving, we didn't have none of those problems. No, everyone got along. Everybody mm -hmm. got a beer first and everything was happy <laughs> on out there. But the boys, you the brothers. I guess they're going to start taking numbers. Well, <laughs> but I mean, how many of y'all out there, probably doing energy drinks, uh, <laughs> have problems with your relatives at Thanksgiving? Supposed to be the joyest of all time, ain't it, Frank? Yep. Stressful. Yeah. For Is me. it? Nope. Yep. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you come to our house, Frank. But if y'all cooking up pancakes, y'all give Tom and Frank a call because they'll be the first ones in line. You got it. All right. I want to give a shout out this morning too to Clay Styles, Teacher of the Year. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go, Clay. Uh, anything else I was supposed to mention this morning I have seemingly could have forgotten? Uh, we do have a, an, announce, an announcement that we need to talk about. So gather up all your extra food in your pantry if you can because Limestone Church is involved and needs some additional food this year. And you can take it by their location here in Athens. All right, there, yeah, there it, is. it is right there. And let me remind you all, so Philip Presley will be with us a little long, talking about he something He will. There's going Sunday. to be like a Thanksgiving um, service and meal, I believe, at First Baptist Church. We'll find all out right. more in a little A couple of things here, as I've told you all a couple of times, this week we've signed a contract for TNN, the Rick and yes. Bubba Show live in HD. That's high definition from 6 to 10 a.m. We'll have that up and running for all you folks on Facebook wondering. Hopefully sometime within the month. By the end of the year it should be on 11.2. But you folks that have cable, call Charter, call Comcast, call Knowledge, Mediacom, Direct and Dish. Tell them you want ZTV's Nashville Network. Country music all day long, Crook and Chase. A uh, bunch of other things you'll remember, new stuff too, but maybe Rick and Bubba in the mornings live out of Birmingham. Call your mm -hmm. cable, cable provider today requesting that. That's right. Anything else? No. Got to take good. a break. Uh, <laughs> Frank's going to eat one of them uh, tamales. Ho-hos in a minute and we'll be good to go. <laughs> we'll be right back with the news, y'all. Hang on. <laughs>